Hey everybody, this is Aaron, Prepping Ohio. We're looking at my breaker box, my main coming in, uh, 200 amp service. Now, this is what I'm going to do. Oh, come on. There. See how everything got dark? We're going off grid for 24 hours. There's a reason for this, and I'm going to explain this here in just a minute. Well, you can see I've still got a light going. Just one little light right here. That thing actually draws 15 watts. It's a fluorescent bulb that I absolutely hate. Uh, but it does put pretty good light over my filthy sink with some stuff that I need to clean up and then I'll eventually get whatever. But I've got light all because of my inverter. And this is all solar. That's all I'm going to do for the next 24 hours. Uh, this orange cord goes somewhere that's kind of interesting. Then I'm going to show you in just a second. So I trace the cord all the way in here to show you this. That's out of a power strip, and there's two things plugged into it right there. There is the one with the green light on it is the router, and the other plug is for my phone. I don't have a corded phone. All my phones are cordless. Uh, which is something I'm going to be investing in, is an old-style corded phone where you don't have to have electricity to run, your, to run your, your telephone. And the reason these guys are plugged in is just for emergency, for tonight, for my experiment. Uh, the Internet is how I text uh, my little boy's mother. Uh, we text through Wi-Fi. And this phone, I have elderly parents. And I gotta have that, and I gotta have this. So, uh, yeah, just for an emergency kind of thing. And as you can see, phone's on, and the Wi-Fi's going. So, the main reason I did this uh, is probably four or five years ago, I can't remember when it was, we had a huge power outage that lasted for about seven days. And if you're not really prepared for a seven-day power outage, try this. Just do it one day, and you can see what you actually need. Well, we lost power for seven days, like I said. Let's get down here where it's a better view. Anyway, uh, I had a generator. Of course, the generator hadn't been started for two years, so I had to mess with it, rebuild a carburetor, clean all the little crap out of it. The... Uh, Anyway, he started running. Got him working. Okay, good. We can run our refrigeration. Uh, then after that, okay, what kind of fuel do I have for this thing? Well, we had... I mean, let's, let's just go over here and have a sit down. Uh, there's a cord run, and there's a dinosaur, because I have kids. But there's no kids here tonight. That's why I'm doing this experiment. And there's dinosaurs everywhere. But after we did... Let's just look out the window and talk. After we did... Uh, the first evaluation, okay, we have a generator. We're going to get this going. What kind of fuel do we have? Well, I had five gallons of gasoline. Fresh five gallons of gasoline. Uh, neat thing. Okay, that run for a couple days. Not bad. Okay, when's the power coming back on? Holy crap, the whole grid screwed up. Well, uh, okay, let's just go get some gas. Yeah, that's when we're not the only people without power gas stations didn't have electricity to pump our gas. Uh, grocery stores, they had nothing. They, all their refrigeration failed because there was no power. Now, of course, that problem has been remedied, and uh, everybody's kind of got backup generators now. So that's something that's kind of neat that just from that experience that something happened. And I'm redoing this to kind of just remember a little bit and maybe pick up on something that I have forgotten. The first thing that I realized that I had actually forgot was, hey, I don't need this light right now because it's kind of bright outside. That's the light coming through the window into my dirty sink. Uh, speaking of water, I have a well that there is pressure on the bladder, and I have X amount of water pressure that I can use. Now, I do have a bigger generator that I could wire into all that, and make the pump work and pressurize everything 
But I'm just not going to do that. This is only a 24-hour experience, or experiment, which will also be an experience. And, uh, yeah, you're looking at my dirty sink. Kind of neat, huh? Maybe I ought to get off my lazy ass and do some off-grid laundry. Or not laundry, Christ. Uh, dishes. <laughs> and it, it's not really that much in here. Uh, I have a George Foreman grill, which I cannot use right now. Uh, I don't want to waste the electricity on that. Uh, that I soak these things a long time because it picks up a lot of grease. And it seems like everything, there's so many cracks and crevices that just fill up with grease or whatever. And they are cool. They designed to spit the grease out into a little stupid trough that never stays where you want it to. And there's no dial on it, so it's kind of just... I don't know if you can see that. Let's turn the light back on. Uh, of course, the light ain't working now. Hey, there's something neat. Yeah, okay, well, good. The light don't work now. So I don't have a light. No, I've got other lights I can plug in, lamps and stuff. But anyway, uh, George Foreman Grill. It's cool for, <laughs> I guess, burgers. And that's pretty much all you can really do. on Hot dogs work, too. You can cook sausage. Uh... Yeah, it's anyway, I'm not doing the George Foreman thing tonight. I don't want to consume that much energy. But yeah, here's my filthy sink. And I did not pre-haul water. I do have a zero water, uh, that's filthy, uh, a zero water pitcher water filter that I use that is almost empty. Uh, we can't drink the well water here. I suppose we probably could, but it tastes terrible. Real sulfury. And I'm actually going to do a video on, uh, you ever see those where the fire comes out, uh, out of the spigot, out of the faucet here? You turn, you turn the hot side on and it runs for a second and while it's warming up, there's all of a sudden these, all the, all these bubbles that come out. And if you hold a lighter to those bubbles here, you get big flames. And actually I think that'll be my next video after I'm done with, with the off grid, off grid, thing repeating myself so yeah 24 hours from now maybe i'm going to do this but yeah hey filthy dishes so everything's nice and quiet in the house right now i've got one video processing and that usually takes three or four hours to upload a video and to process and do all this stuff but maybe i'd show you what i did here the light's starting to fade you can still hear the cicadas, they're terribly loud. I mowed up today, up to the blueberries. So, let's go take a look at them. See what we got here. Now, mowing, by saying mowing, I mean push mow. And I mean wrestle everything. <laughs> it sucks. Uh, push mower is not really designed to cut through all this crap. Well, i uh, never really paid attention to what they're looking like. But, let's have us a look here. I still see zero blue ones. Uh, they're all still the same color. Uh, and of course the camera's not going to focus. The good camera I'm using is uh, generally from my iPad and the processing program that I use on that takes so long to upload. But it does upload in HD and it does generally have a better video quality. Uh, since it's busy I'm doing the off-grid thing right now. <laughs> And I'm shooting with the Zoom. The Zoom kind of sucks. But it was top of the line back in this day, which was like five or six years ago. Uh, we do have raspberries. They're starting to turn red. They're going to be red, and then they'll go black. And once they're black, you can, you can pick them and do whatever you need with them. But there's a ton of them down there. There's some red ones. Uh, I mowed all the way up to here is when the horse flies finally, or the deer flies, or whatever they are. Uh, damn things. There's the other blueberry bush, and he does have some up top there. I think you can kind of see that. And I didn't go any farther, because I was getting ate alive. Actually, right there's one of the damn things. Let's uh, see if we can get in there. Ah, no, I scared him. There was one of them flies in there. And there's still these things everywhere. Uh, seems like when the sun's out and it's kind of warm, they're loud. And if the sun goes away, they kind of quiet up. Actually, whoa, what are those things? And the camera will not focus. Let's see if we can kill the 
Kill the background? No. Weird little red bugs all over everything. I don't know what kind of plant this is. This is some kind of weed that I've always mowed down. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of red little weird bugs on him. No. Whatever. Yeah, since I've turned off uh, electricity, which was probably an hour and a half ago, two hours, something, I don't, I don't really remember. I should have looked at the clock, and I did not. Uh, the first thing I noticed was how quiet it was. Uh, you never really realize what you're running in the background until you can't run stuff in the background. No. It's kind of cool, really. Uh, oops, sorry, I know I'm shaking the camera. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to chop this stuff down tomorrow. Get in there with a the mower. And... Those are not raspberries. That's multiple rows. That stuff grows everywhere, and it's an asshole. So I'm going to try to get rid of that thing, or at least cut back a bunch of it, so I can get to the other blueberry bushes up there. And we'll see what happens from there. So another thing I realized as soon as I threw the main was that I had a full load of clothes in the washing machine that needed to dry. Well, <laughs> what do you do? Okay, well, I strung a wire across here. And as you can see, I, it didn't fit everything. Uh, there's some stuff up there. This thing here, I know you've seen in all my other videos, this is, it was an old play set. There was a slide, there's a ladder in the back there, and where those, that shirt and that pair of pants are hanging, there was a big pole that come across here down to another A-frame, about where the little burn pit is, and it had swings on it, and it had a, like a little seesaw kind of thing on it or something. Uh, uh, something went wrong with it. I can't remember what it was. I, it started to rot or something, or something broke or whatever. But I took it down and just wanted to get rid of everything, but decided that, hey, the kids like this, so we're going to do this. And, uh, yeah, so <laughs> from the building over to here, I hurried up and found some wire, which I didn't even know I had. That is 12-gauge multi-strand, and strung it up here. And I don't have any clothespins because I don't have an outside clothesline. And it's supposed to rain. You can see the sky. It looks crappy. Hey, but I don't really care. It's going to be hot tomorrow, so this stuff will eventually dry. And if it's uh, sun bleaches, I really don't care. I'm not putting on a fashion show. This is the car seat out of my son's car seat, I guess. The car seat cover. Uh, my four-year-old. Uh, and if you've not... <laughs> if you've not experienced a young child in a vehicle you know that the car seat gets very, very filthy. So, yeah, I decided to wash that this morning and then completely forgot about everything. So, but I'm sticking with it. I'm going with the off-grid thing for 24 hours, and that's what we got going on. So, I don't know how good they're going to dry overnight. They probably won't, but like I said, it's supposed to be very hot tomorrow, and we'll just see what happens. Well, this is what we're doing for dinner tonight. Uh, some of my old cookware. I've got him heating up on the little propane stove top here. Uh, we're having some Mountain House beef stroganoff uh, with noodles, I guess, because apparently you can get it without noodles. I did not know that. Uh, yeah, uh, there's the... Everybody saw my last couple videos uh, a few videos back that's what we're that's what we're using this guy this is a small one and uh, it has the one lid that fits on everything so we're boiling some water now I don't know if you can see down in here let me let me take this off ouch that's hot and now let me see if I can shine the light yeah starting to boil so we're gonna have dinner here pretty soon so yeah, that's what we're doing tonight. Well, I just turned the power back on. Uh, very happy that it's back on. It's hot today. Uh, it's 85 degrees in here. It says 98 degrees outside. And that's, that's pretty miserable. <laughs> I'm showing you a picture of the shade because 
the shade's nice. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I did uh, roughly 24 hours uh, off the grid. I forgot how boring everything can be. Uh, didn't realize how dependent I was on on uh, some sort of media. Whether it's Netflix or just watching videos on YouTube. Now, of course, I could have watched stuff. I decided not to. I kind of thought that may, might be cheating. So, I didn't. I actually did have a phone call last night. Uh, kind of late. And it was an old friend I haven't really talked to for a long time. And she lives, like, five hours away. And we talked for probably five hours. It was kind of weird. I never really talked on the phone that much. Uh, yeah, it was good to talk to her. That that killed some time a little bit. Uh, had an off-grid shower this morning. I got the rest of the water out of the lines and put them in clear jugs. Set them out in the sun for a little bit. And they warmed up. And well, it's lukewarm, kind of, I guess. I took them in the shower and poured them over myself. And... Uh, yeah, it was, it was kind of nice, really. Uh, I don't know how many times I've tried to turn the light switches on. It's just such a habit, I don't even realize doing it. Just walking in, especially into the bathroom. You walk into the bathroom, you turn the light on. Uh, yeah, so... The power is back on, and the air conditioner is running, and I hope it does a good job of cooling it down. Uh, yeah, the batteries were at 12.5 this morning. They were fine. Uh... I was checking them a little bit ago, and they're up to 13.8, I think is what it said, or 13.6 or something. Uh, I don't think it rained last night. Uh, there wasn't any moisture on the windowsills. I left all the windows open. Uh, of course, until it started to warm up, then I closed everything. So it was kind of like an oven in here all day anyway. But uh, yeah, I don't think we got any of the rain that, that, was, that looked like it was coming. But anyway... Uh, yeah, I may try this experiment again, uh, I might do like a three day thing, uh, I don't know, in a week or something maybe, maybe I'll try that, and uh, do it again, do it for a longer period, and, well that's about it I guess, uh, Got some kind of allergy thing going on too, I think. Either I caught a cold, I'm not sure. So if my voice sounds funny, that's that's probably why. Uh, so yeah, that's that's enough for now. Hope you had a good day. You never know if you got another coming. If you're not already subscribed, please do. And as always, thanks for watching.